Yo, what is up guys? It's Jay Blends. As y'all saw by the title of this video, today I'm going to be showing y'all my barber setup here in 2023. I don't know the exact cost of this yet, but I'm sure y'all can tell by the title or the thumbnail how much everything is. And I'll make sure to link everything down in the description. This video will be coming out the same day. As y'all can tell, it's Sunday. And we're just trying to get a video out for y'all. This is something interesting for barbers. And I'm going to show y'all my setup and let's get into it. All right, let's go ahead and get started with my station and what I use on my station for most of my haircuts. All right, so these are basically all the essentials that I'm using. Let me go ahead and show y'all what clippers I'm rocking with. My first essential on the barber station is this Babyless Boosted FX trimmer. It has the chameleon blade on it. I've had the best luck with this blade. It is pretty loud, as you can tell, but it is used a lot. This is used on every haircut and it hits, it can debulk well, and yeah, this is the first part to my barber setup. To match with that, we have the Boosted FX Clipper. This isn't used as much as the trimmer. It's still a great clipper, it's super powerful. This is honestly one of the best starter clippers that I had, this is what I started on. Um, it's really not in the rotation as much anymore, but it's still on the station and it's still used on the haircuts. This next clipper that I'm gonna show y'all is one of my most used clippers on the station. This right here is the Gamma Boosted. This is honestly one of the best clippers that I've ever used. Um, I used to use a Magic Clip right here. Let me go ahead and show y'all guys. I used to use this thing pretty frequently, but it started running out of power. As you can hear, the motor's pretty slow, but I like the way that it felt in the hand and I like the way it faded. And this is honestly, a way upgraded version of that. You can hear the motor, it's super fast. These things cut really well, they debulk well, they fade well, and this is what I use for the majority of my haircut. To match with that, we have the Sabre trimmer. This thing hits. I don't know if I like it more than the Babyless FX trimmers, but it's really close and this thing is really light. It feels good in the hands, it's super quiet. As you can tell, it hits for lineups, it makes designs go really well, and yeah, this matches with the Gamma Boosted, kinda got the gold theme with my clippers going on, and I'd definitely look into getting one of these. Along with that, they have really nice uh, charging docks. Those things come in handy when you're doing haircuts. You can just pop them in, and they'll go ahead and start charging for you. The next part to my setup is the Babyless Foil Shaver. This is the UV one with the UV light at the top. So this light will come on when I pop the cap on and it'll sanitize this thing for me. This thing mows through hair. This is one of the best shavers I've ever used. It has quite a bit of weight to it, but it works really well and I definitely recommend this for your setup. Next, I'll show you all some of the products that I use. So this is kind of some hair tonic right here. A lot of people like this if they're just getting a basic haircut, maybe a two on the top. Uh, zero on the side, something like that. You rub this on their head. It's gonna smell good, it'll make them feel good, and it makes the clients happy. Obviously, we have the water bottle. This water bottle is great. It's one of the Mr. Ones, as you can tell. And then we have the talk. The talk is essential. Now this, you need this. This is a spray bottle with barbicide in it. You need this to go ahead and spray down your chair. You wanna make sure that you're keeping everything clean for your clients. And so that's an essential. Here's something that I don't really mess with as much. This is my enhancement gun. It does the job, it does well, but I just don't mess with enhancements very much. My next thing is this level three aftershave cologne. Level three, if you're seeing this, y'all should go ahead and sponsor me. But this stuff is amazing. All my clients love this. I've actually bought some to give to my clients because they love it so much. This thing is essential. Over here we just have more disinfectant in the barbicide, then we have some curl stuff and our sharps container. Now let's get into some of my favorite products on my station. So I have the 245 Shave Gel, the 245 No Drip Enhancement, and my personal favorite straight razor, the 245 Triple Cartridge Razor. My 245 products are honestly some of the favorite products on the station, they do really well. Over here we got the neck duster, the barbicide jar which is essential, some hairspray, and one of my favorite products. This is dopamine pomade. This stuff works really well and I like it a lot. 
If you are a barber, go ahead and let me know down in the comment section below. And y'all let me know if y'all have any of these things on your station. And if y'all do, let me know what y'all's favorite is. So y'all go ahead and comment below. While y'all are doing that, y'all go ahead and follow my other forms of social media. I have TikTok, Instagram, and uh, yeah, y'all go follow those. The TikTok and Instagram have been doing really well. As y'all are doing that, y'all make sure to subscribe. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers right now. That's our next milestone that we're gonna reach. And it's gonna happen soon, and I appreciate y'all guys for staying in the video this far. Here is the Instagram. Uh, one of our latest videos is at 130,000 views, and we're also at 1,000 followers. Literally about two or three weeks ago, I only had like 120 followers on the page. And so the reels have really been helping my page grow. And I appreciate y'all guys for growing that if you're on this channel and y'all are also on the Instagram. So now for my favorite part of my barber setup, let's get into all the decorations. Before I show you all of my decorations, I'll go ahead and show y'all my barber cape and my barber chair. So right here we got the illusions cape. This cape is honestly really good. It has the clips at the back instead of the snaps, which really comes in handy for fitting the clients and keeping the hair off the clients. Illusion, if you see this too, y'all go ahead and sponsor me. Y'all have some of the best capes in the game. And then here's for the barber chair. This is a vintage barber chair. It's a hundred or more years old. It's something that I got that was running in the family. As you can see right there, it is a Koken chair. Y'all can go ahead and search these up. These things go for a lot these days. They're originally made in the United States. They go for a lot because they're super rare. Um, this one's still in really good condition and I'm appreciative to have this chair. This is one of the best pieces to the barber room, honestly, because it's an antique and it gets the job done really well. Let me go ahead and show you all the other decorations. So right here we have this barber pole that we got off of Amazon. If you're gonna have a barber shop, you know you have to have the barber pole for the aesthetic. People enjoy it, people like it, and it's very iconic. Y'all look at that thing go. That is one of the first pieces that I got to the setup. Next, I'll show y'all the lighting. Um, we have two small ring lights from Amazon. They're all right, you know, they're not bad. But then we have this bad boy over here. This thing works really well. Um, I use it to film content. I use it for the haircuts. Uh, it's about $100 off Amazon, and it works really well though. The one thing I don't like about it is the stand. The stand is honestly pretty cheap for how hefty the light is. But let me go ahead and show y'all the next piece of the barbershop. All right, so this sign right here, this barbershop sign that I got off of Amazon, I actually got most of this stuff for Christmas for my parents. But yeah, this is the next sign to the shop. It's really just something cool, something aesthetic. It's right in front of the chair. And let me go ahead and show y'all my favorite piece of the barbershop. All right, before I show y'all the favorite piece of the barbershop, here's the apron that we're rocking with. This is the Babyless Barberology apron. It works really well. It keeps all the hair off me and it also has some little pouches to put my tools or the money that I made for the day. Yeah, I definitely recommend y'all get one of these. All right, so here is my favorite part to the setup. Y'all honestly probably saw it in one of the last clips, but y'all just didn't know. This is my favorite part of the setup, as well as my client's favorite part of the setup. Let me go ahead and show y'all. All right, guys, so this right here is my favorite part to the setup. It's the mirror that sits right in front of the chair. As you can see, it has a little button right there. What that button does right there is it changes the lighting all the way around the mirror. This is a really nice part to the setup because the client sits right in front of this so they get to see what I'm doing while I'm giving them a haircut, as well as what their haircut looks like after. Most of all my clients will come up to this mirror right after they get their haircut and check themselves out. And then they'll ask me where I got this from. So this mirror, I can tell you, is not the cheapest thing, but I can tell you it's a really great investment because your clients will love it and you'll love it as well. So this was like a hundred and something dollars. I got it off of Amazon for Christmas. This is one of my favorite parts of the setup and it really just highlights the haircuts. Now, I know this video wasn't something too long, but I hope it's something that y'all enjoyed and found helpful if you're a beginner barber. I know this can be stressful, a lot of this stuff's expensive, but if you put in the work and you make some money off of cutting hair, I promise you, you can get all these things um, within the first three months of you cutting hair, honestly. Y'all let me know what type of content y'all wanna see from me next. We have a big Thanksgiving video coming up for y'all. My clients, as well as people around the community should really enjoy this video. 
Um, there's gonna be a lot of hard work put into it. It'll probably drop Friday or Saturday after Thanksgiving. So y'all stay tuned. Y'all make sure to follow all the other social medias like I mentioned. And y'all make sure to leave a like, a comment, and y'all go ahead and subscribe. And I appreciate y'all guys for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Jay Blends out.